This all comes down to making a decision. The decision to do. So last night I went to a 21st and for the first time in such a long time, I was actually invited to the 21st. Like people weren't using me for being a photographer. For once I was actually a friend. <laughs> I almost felt naked without my camera. What am I supposed to do here? Like it, it's almost like it's been that long. It felt like I, I just didn't belong there. It was really weird. But when I went in there, I was like, okay, this means that I have to socialize. My only purpose of being here is to socialize with people and actually have fun. <laughs> well, not saying that photography isn't fun, but because I hadn't done that in such a long time, it didn't feel uncomfortable, but it just felt different. Like it, it felt like it was just outside the norm, which is a good thing. And the first person that I talked to, I kind of just went up to her and I was like, hey, like what's going on? And then she said to me that she started off this little sort of business where she creates these little beads sort of things. So I asked her like, why are you doing this? Like what, what's the purpose behind it? She just said to me like simply put, I love doing it. Like it's fun. I like to do it. And hearing that is so refreshing. Being around an environment where a lot of people just go out and they kind of just choose jobs. They're just doing it for the money. Seeing someone do something purely because it's fun and because it actually fulfills them. I was almost inspired by hearing her saying something like that because it's really rare to find people that go out and just start their own thing because they actually like to do it and they feel like they get fulfilled out of doing it. People that have a lot of money, like yeah, they might be financially stable and everything like that, but are they actually happy? No money can buy you actual happiness. Money can buy you security, money can buy you experiences that lead to happiness and everything like that. Like obviously money is amazing. You need money. Money makes the world go round as they say. But at the same time, you can't be living your life doing something that you don't like doing in order to keep living. That is to keep going on making money, doing things that you don't like doing because that just does not make any sense at all. And why would you ever do that when you can have the chance to do something that you love every single day and get paid at the same time? She literally said to me, I was too scared to do it. Like I was really afraid, like thinking like, what if it's not gonna work out? Like what if people are gonna judge me and everything like that. In the first place, like she admitted to me that when she started doing it, she was kind of like nervous about what other people were thinking and everything like that. So she kept it a little bit private. The more she actually made the products and the more that she actually did stuff that she loved, the more confidence that it built in her and her business, she's kind of letting go of the fears of like what other people think. She said to me that there was just one point where she was like, nah, this is enough. I need to stop thinking and start doing. That's like the merit behind like all of my work pretty much. Like she's someone else that's actually achieving what she wants to achieve and it's making her happy. That makes me happy as well. And I don't know what the biology or the psychology is behind that, but this all comes down to making a decision. The decision to do. Thinking about the possible outcomes, like worrying, doing things out of fear or thinking too much about like whether it's gonna work out, whether it's not gonna work out, things like that. All this stuff literally holds you back. It's all just crap. Like all you need to do is just be like, all right. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Like that's it, like th that's all you need to do. You just need to get rid of all the negativity and just do. Even making this video, like I was thinking this morning, like do I even, I don't even know if I really wanna make this video and everything like that. But then I started sucking myself up. I'm like, no, I wanna do this. Like I want to motivate people today. I wanna to inspire people today. I looked up TED Talks. I looked up stuff that motivated me. I looked up stuff that inspired me. And so that got me into the mood and I'm in that mood right now where I'm just like, woo! I want you to go out and do what you want to do. Please do that for you and for me as well. <laughs>and she's pretty much just made this Instagram account. It's called Bohemian Strings. Anyways, if you like this video, oh, far out. Keep forgetting about question of the day. Hi, I really like your vids, bro. You inspire me so much. Just one question though, please don't judge me. Do you like cold pizza or hot pizza better? This is my friend. He's just like, he's just being an idiot. Anyway, cold pizza or hot pizza? Hot pizza, I reckon hot pizza. Cold pizza is good the next day, like if you wanna have it for lunch and everything like that, but hot pizza, hot pizza for me. Anyways, if you like this video, maybe consider liking and subscribing. It's up to you, you know what to do. It was awesome hanging out with you again and I'll catch you next time.